I've been using the, the 6300 series for, for most of my work in the last couple of years. I had been uh, working on a corn record out in LA. Jonathan had built an amazing studio on his own property in uh, Tarzana. And we thought, let's try to record the whole album there. And it was a little bit like working in a recording truck, which is very long and very narrow. And the problem was we were having a lot of trouble with the low end. We got great sounds, but when it came to mixing, um, I wasn't that happy with what I was hearing in the studio versus what I took outside. So he connected them up, uh, the 6300s, with a subwoofer, and suddenly I was able to hear the low end that I was missing. And the mixes started to sound really good, and with the 6300s, I was hearing outside what I was hearing inside. And from that point on, I was hooked. I said, okay, these are my speakers from now on. What I found was the ability to room correct the speakers, whatever environment I was in, made it incredibly useful to me. It's funny because I used to always use three-way speakers. The, the, um, the 6300s, excuse me, are the first uh, speaker that I've used that was a two-way. I always felt you needed that, that third driver in the mid-range to, to handle it. But uh, the, the 6300s really cured me of that because they're so smooth uh, across the entire spectrum. What I loved immediately about the 6300s was whether I'm listening at 85 dB or I'm listening at 105 dB, they have the power. They have that, they're so, they, they have such a uniform response from top to bottom. I don't miss anything when I go to 85. I can't recall an instance where they didn't get loud enough for us to get the vibe that we wanted, especially with the, the, the subs. They're massive, and they, they, they can put out pretty much whatever you want to put out. In fact, I prefer them to the mains. Um, I hardly use the mains in here or in any room. I, I generally end up doing from soup to nuts pretty much on, on, on those speakers.